But first, the fallout from campaign 2010. The election is over, but the controversy produced by the results are just beginning. Several of the state questions that passed last night will be challenged in court, and it will likely happen soon. News on 6 reporter Chris Wright is live downtown with more on all those potential lawsuits. Chris. Well, Scott, looking like the first two questions that are going to be challenged here are the one that will require voters to bring photo IDs to election uh, sites in the future, as well as the one that makes English Oklahoma State's official language. Now, both of those state, que state questions, of course, pass easily, but some legal experts say that doesn't make them legal. When Oklahomans filled out their ballots Tuesday, they made their feelings about state questions 751 clear. The English-only question passed with 76% of the vote. The same goes for state question 746. 74% of voters said yes to requiring photo IDs when voting, despite the overwhelming majority. TU professor James Thomas says both questions are unconstitutional. The anger of people cannot impose a restriction on the freedom of other people. Thomas plans to file a lawsuit within the next week. He says the ID requirement for voters discriminates against the poor and the elderly who may not have or be able to get government-issued identification. He believes the use of only English for any business done by local and state governments is also blatantly unconstitutional. Thomas says the questions were put on the ballot simply to rile up conservative voters. The purpose was to be to feed the anger of people so that they will come to the poll with their, that anger. It's apparent to iron that the professor's intent is literally to divide a state against itself. Carol Helm heads iron immigration reform for Oklahoma Now. The group backed both 746 and 751 and she says Professor Thomas is out of touch with most Oklahomans. I don't know where the guy's coming from. Why would he invest the money? Why? What's his agenda? That's why I mentioned to you. I don't know what's behind all of it. Why? But Thomas says the lawsuit is his only recourse against the state government that has shifted even further to the right. If the court ever joins in this anger mood of the legislature and the executive branch of government in Oklahoma, then I think the people are in real trouble. Now, the English-only provision, it won't take effect immediately. Technically, the legislature has to write a law now during its next session. Then that law will, in turn, go into effect either next July or November. Chris Wright, News on 6. And we have learned another state question is also facing a fight. CARE, the Council on American-Islamic Relations, tomorrow outlines a lawsuit challenging state question 755. That measure forbids Oklahoma judges from considering Sharia law or international law when making a ruling. CARE says the new constitutional amendment is unconstitutional.